it's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management. And once again this week, bonds rallied and stocks declined as the 30-year Treasury bond yield fell to an all-time record low, dropping below 2% for the first time in history. The Dow fell in the week as it suffered an 800-point decline on Wednesday, its worst percentage drop of the year, and the fourth largest point drop of all time. The cause, according to the media, was a brief inversion of the yield curve, signaling a recession is coming. Simply put, the yield on the two-year Treasury bond was slightly higher than the yield on the 10-year bond. This phenomenon, which suggests investor faith in the economy is faltering, has preceded every recession in the past 50 years. Now, it should also be noted that there have been times when the yield curve inverted and we didn't have a recession and nothing happened. Furthermore, when a recession did occur, it was anywhere from six months to 18 months after the yield curve inverted. Truth be told, the yield curve is not a great market timing mechanism. Many times when the signals from the real economy are positive, like now, and diverge from the negative signals sent by the bond market, it's actually bullish for stocks. And the U.S. economy received another positive signal this week from the U.S. consumer as retail sales rose a seasonally adjusted seven-tenths of 1% in July from a month earlier, easily beating economists' expectations. The Atlanta Fed said the strong retail sales report caused it to raise its estimate of third quarter growth. Its GDP now real-time growth estimates stand at 2.2%, up from 1.9% from its latest estimate in August. Nonetheless, investors' concerns continued to weigh on the market, and we had another volatile week on the street of dreams. But the bottom line is, markets are inherently volatile. As investors, we don't mind upside volatility or the new highs that we experienced in the bond market this week or the new highs that we had in the stock markets just 14 sessions ago. What we don't like is downside volatility or corrections, which are just a fancy Wall Street term for losses, and no one likes losses. But without corrections, without temporary declines, there's no opportunity to add to our holdings at lower prices. You know, I think John Bogle said it best. The stock market is a giant distraction to the business of investing. Focusing on the day-to-day is a really good way to lose sight of the long-term trends or why you're invested in the first place. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, am I positioned to take advantage of the long-term trends? Am I invested to achieve my goals and my dreams with the least amount of risk? Well, why sit there and wonder when you could know? Give us a call or simply text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. 